number of ways people do this. Some stand in front of the dog and back the dog up. The, the fun people back heel the dog, which I love doing. Oh, you saved my life. Let me give you a hug. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, are you ready guys? Let's see what they do. Ah, vacant chair. Ready, steady, go. Oh yeah, we've got two back healers. Oh, this is good. Looks like that's in the lead. Could be going a bit crooked there. Cro crooked button, we'll call it. Could be the crooked button. And the winner is... Woohoo! Oh, Ben Wiggery. I love it. Okay, now heal them forwards. And forwards, and we'll do it again. That's really nice. Now, when you train this in, um, it's the same as if you're training it the other way when you're standing in front. The correction, when the dog goes crooked, you're going backwards. If the dog goes crooked, you just go forwards. That corrects the dog and gets him straight. So you want to train it like this, and, and back up, back up, back up, back up, good dog. Good dog, and back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. And when you do this, what you end up with is perfect Don't forwards healing. Because the dog is self-correcting on the healer, all right? When you do it this way, are you going to stand in front of the dog? Yeah. When you stand in front of the dog, um, <laughs> I often don't tell people how to train, you know, the dog to do this. And there's many ways, and they come up with a lot of bizarre things. But what a lot of them do is, if the dog goes crooked, they all back up, okay? So th this is, some years ago I was doing a canine games class um, for my trainers. Occasionally my trainers want me to teach a class so they can see how I would do it. So I'm doing this canine games class and when I get there, the dogs are pathetic. And I'm really upset because I'm not in town and I'm now gonna take six hours out of my life once a week for six weeks to teach a class where the dogs aren't ready for it and they're serious dogs. And so Kelly said, it said, Ian, calm down, we're here to have fun, you know. So I had to design the entire, redesign the entire curriculum, because they can't do what I was doing. So I actually started off with doggy dancing. And um, part of the, one of the doggy dancing steps is back up. But I was damned if I was going to tell them how to do it, because I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit smart, I'm sorry. I'm having a hissy fit, all right? I'm not perfect. And they came up with some weird things. So like one owner was really funny. She went like this, she goes back, and to stop it going crooked, she does that. And that whoa. And so she's doing this, which is kind of interesting, right? Um, but most people do this. They back up, the dog goes crooked, so they back up and it auto corrects. Okay? The dog goes crooked, they back up. Well, Week one, we did off these dancing. Two of these dogs left the room. They jumped over the barrier in the pet store. One of them got out to the street. They're totally not ready for this. They don't have the off-leash, the centripetal attraction. Like, look at this dog here. She's standing there. Where's the dog? Considering all the things we could do in the room, the dog's sitting next to her and looking up at her. I mean, I'm going to try and see how that feels like, right? Let's just see. Oh yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I'll look up at you too. That's all right. Um, <laughs> Anyway, week three, we do the dancing. I said, Kelly, look at this. Every dog is absolutely focused on their owner and off leash. They're doing this stupid, dorky dance. You know? And when you think about it, what you get when you train a dog to go out or to back up, you get a free recall. Because that's the correction. It's really interesting. So you get a centripetal attraction. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And so within three weeks, these out of control dogs were now focused on their owners because the owners were doing something, dorky dancing, and the owners kept backing away from them because the dogs go crooked so the dogs come in straight. All right, really good. We're going to re-race. One's going backwards, the other's going forwards, the owner I mean. Are we ready? Steady. Uh, you've got a tail full there. You're good. See how strict I am? It was only half a centimeter. Ready, steady, go. Off they go. Just serpentine. That's good. Serpentine. Serpent and serpentine. So you obviously never backed up a tractor with a trailer on it. <laughs> I love this dancing though. And we're past. We're through. That's good. Alright, that's nice. Good. <laughs> 
Alright, next two challenges. Year one, who wants to challenge? Over here. 